Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough, starting Vision 2-2. No, not with ballerinas wear. 2-2. Let's get it started now. No black screen, I mean now. Yeah. And this is one of the cooler stages in the game, in my opinion, of which you'll see why a little bit later. But as for now, I'm just going to explore the area as best I can. I like to show off as much of things that I know of as I possibly can. And uh, I've, I've been using a uh, little practice file of sorts to uh, get, like, uh, get the hang of the game once again myself. Uh, so yeah, this won't be as blind as I thought it would be. <laughs> Just saying. <clears throat> look, look at this waterfall here. Looks a little weird, right? Yeah, that's why. See the water splashing on the underside of the rocks rather than on top of them? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Gotta fix that water flow, though I have no idea how that could possibly happen anyway, but it's probably best not to question the game logic. Just saying. I mean, we went through that before and it's, it's a risky thing to do if you were to do that, so yeah. Up here is a trapped villager, so get up there and make sure you get it. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. I missed the rock. That makes me sad. <laughs> well, I didn't fall too far back in here. Well, not fall too far back, go far back there. That's okay. <laughs> and down there, I believe, is a... I was not paying attention to that critter at all. <laughs> yeah, there's another one down here. And, ah! <laughs> and I believe you want to take a guy in here. No, wait, this isn't the spot I'm thinking of. Maybe I'm thinking of another level later on. But anyway, just move yourself down here. I don't think there's anything down there except death. <laughs> so, I don't recommend death to anyone. Um... Yeah, I definitely need a guy to get up here, like so. Extra life, trapped villager, good. And th these balls, they don't hurt you at all, by the way. That's why I'm being very careless around them, <laughs> in case you didn't realize that yet. Um, you'll notice that there is a cave down there with a the trapped villager. Just go through here, fall down here, go into here, and whoa, look at that. <laughs> That's sort of a... A way that they hint you to get over, you know, to that cave down there. It, it shows you where the cave is ahead of time, so that it, it sort of points you in the direct, right direction to drop off there. Uh, I think you want a guy, and the reason why yeah, I was another poet and didn't know it. Actually, that was purposeful, <laughs> is to get up here. Checkpoint! And I have no idea how these water jugs were, or well, water vases work. I mean, where does the water pressure come from in there? I mean, is it, like, carbonated or something like that? That, you know, that there's some air bubbles in there pushing the water out? But but I would think that I would only be able to do it once, you know, like those uh, Diet Coke and Mentos thing, where it sprays water out of the top of the bottle, but it just seems to do it in a limited amount of times, and, you know, I, I shouldn't be questioning the game logic again. This, this is getting a tad dangerous, and I, I really really don't want the universe to implode on I mean, you. That, that is what the, you know, villains are trying to do in this story, essentially, so... I, you know, I don't really want to help them, so I'm just gonna end it off right there. And over here is another hidden egg indicated by that line of gems, the diamond things. Wait, wait, I want to go down here, don't I? Yes! That birdie is going to get in my way, though, isn't it? Awesome. And I'll just throw it at that. There we go. I think they just keep respawning or not. <laughs> now I'm going to go... Wait, can I go, like, just for the fun of it? I want to see if I can go... No, I can't. I want to see if I can go through there and, like, jump the gap. What did I do that for? I was a little too close there. I, I don't know if I'll actually fall if I touch the water or something like that. I'm not, not sure about that. Oh, um, these waterfall things here. You can interact with them, but they won't push you off the edge. Despite, you know, the weight of water being able to do that. But again, you should not be questioning the logic. You're questioning the logic too much, PKGAM. And you shouldn't be as a viewer because 
you know, universe implosion, dangerousness all over the place. And collect as many of these gems as you can, I guess. I noticed that on the map there is a little green gem that appears once you get a certain amount of them. But I don't know if that's necessary for, like, collecting stuff. If if it is, I, I'm kind of, like, screwing myself in this walkthrough by missing gems. <laughs> but at the same time, the, the gems are really, really hard to miss. <laughs> So I'm, I'm not exactly sure if that's something that I would even need to cover, to be honest. Um, yeah, this guy's gonna get in my way, isn't he? Yeah, of course you're going to. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm gonna wait for him to go under there so I can, like, squish him. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to walk underneath there with him. Or at least I don't think I would have been able to. I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> Checkpoint! Gotta face the camera to hit that one. And... By the way, once you jump you can't I should say you can't go backwards no matter how hard you try on these water slide like thingies so be careful that oh shoot I wanted to get up there to get gems oh I needed a, a critter to do it and oh well, at least I got a one up and I don't think there's anything of interest up there anyway other than a few gems if you get high enough by the way that's actually a boy I'm surprised too. <laughs> it really sounds like a girl's voice, but I looked it up, and I'm pretty sure that <laughs> that it's a boy. That I, I mean, I, I looked this up ahead of time. Excuse me, just to be sure. Because uh, I looked up the names of the characters basically, and I'm pretty sure the name of this character is a boy. I mean. <laughs> this character is a boy. Well, we'll, we'll see once we get its name. Ah, uh, sure. By the way, how is that fish able to breathe out of water? Well, I suppose some fish can breathe out of water. Some species of fish. Again, I shouldn't be questioning the game logic, but I did. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure. My name's Coral. Thank yep. You for me. Because I, I looked up, and apparently Coral is a boy's name in this. Uh, <laughs> seriously, I can't tell. <laughs> I mean, I I wouldn't have been able to tell otherwise if I didn't look it up. But yeah, I'm just flabbergasted about that. Actually, I mean, it's it's a yellow and purple fish. It has very feminine little girl voice and <laughs> Hello. You look quite evil there. Ah, so that's what happened to the king of this place. So you are the prize for Gaudius Spoko. Gaudius! I knew he was involved in this somehow. Well of course he was. He's the villain of the story. Pamela? Clearly not of the Anderson variety. Yep, that's his mama. We must free them from the power of darkness! By mercilessly beating them into a pulp. <laughs> this is evil Seedolf and evil Pamela, and you can pick him off of either a spike ball or off of her back as she's jumping across the field. Those bubbles hurt, by the way for some reason. I never heard of a, you know, like air-filled water to be ever harmful to somebody, but there we go. <laughs> Again, the logic is being questioned way too much. Grab him! Grab him! Oh, yeah, you can grab him off of her back, as I said. I'd like to show that at least once, but that's really all there is to, to this boss, and I've really got to pay more attention. <laughs> I'm doing a horrendous job here, and it, this isn't a hard boss in the slightest, and Somehow I took a hit there. I'm, I'm not sure how I managed to do that. <laughs> ah, whatever. And grab him! Ah, curses! <laughs> Trying to speed it up a little bit, because otherwise you'll have to wait for him to jump on a little spike ball here, and yeah. Uh, that's a little speedrun tactic if you can get him off her back consistently as she jumps from the background to the foreground, and I really, really played that poorly. 
You know, I should be just staying on one side rather than dodging two sets of spike balls at one time. That, that would make things a whole lot easier on me. <laughs> I, I have no idea why I'm making things more complicated than they actually are. Anyway, I can grab him. Yeah. I did not mean to jump. <laughs> this is by far my worst boss run ever, and bosses tend to be my strongest points too. And I didn't know she could knock off spike balls. Never noticed that before. Come on, come on. And... Yeah, I guess that you hit them both at the same time because, you know, you throw them at each other and that's that's how the life bar thingy goes down. Yeah! Oh, come on! I hit him! That is crazy! You can't tell me that I didn't hit him. Well, the game thought I didn't hit him, but I could have swore I did. <laughs> and final hit! That's the end of the ballerina level. That was fun. But alas, it had to end. And she looks a whole lot different. <laughs> the Joker is not pleased. But if I was a villain that set this up, I wouldn't be either. <laughs> I love his voice actor. <laughs> and the king looks a lot different as well. I see. So I was being controlled by that evil man, Gannis. I don't know who he is, but he definitely seems to be plotting something against the moon. Which means the chiefess of Vorlock Forest is in grave danger. She's known for her knowledge of ancient lore. I'm sure she must also know a great deal about the Moon Kingdom. Notice the Pac-Man hat he's got. Oh, we have to go back to Vorlock Forest. This game was made by Namco. <laughs> Just thought I would point that out there, and that's a little throwback to Namco's early days. Matrix Fish. You're welcome. That's great. Okay, well, if you don't mind, I guess we'll take you up on your offer. All right, let's go. I hold silver away. And that's the end of the vision. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. I hope questioning that logic didn't do anything. I'm a little worried about that at this moment. It happened again! Someone call Princess Rosalina! Let's get this fixed!